Now we're on the final Halloween. Welcome back to another re re review, and we're doing Halloween ends. And man, I have so many prop. There's so many problems with this movie, but I, the one thing I loved is the whole part where Corey and Michael teamed up. I thought that was cool as shit. But then you get to the part where Corey gets mad. He wants to kill those kids that keep going. Um, in fact, um, whatever the fuck they say. Um, in fact, those kids were literally way smaller than him. He literally could have took on all of them, but he punked out. He's literally fucking bigger than them. Like really, he even got bullied by them at the very beginning of the movie, where he uh, breaks his fucking chocolate milk and ends up cutting himself. Like, you literally could have fucking took on those kids, but you're fucking too pussy. Like, man, it's stupid. And then you get another part where Michael stabs the fucking cop, and he's, like, looking like he's fucking coming. Um, that was a cool part. I like that. Also, the face carving in the wall. The sewer. The whole part where Michael grabbed Corey, and he was looking in his eyes, and it was flashback shit. I didn't understand that at all. Then Corey became fucking mentally fucking... Insane. Um, he loved Allison, though. I don't know if he really did. But, um, what else? The cor the whole I love the junkyard scene where Corey kills them. I think the best kill there will probably have to be where he turns on the fucking fire fire thing. I don't know what you call it. That you work on vehicles with. And he puts it in his fucking mouth. The guy's mouth. It, it was fucking gnarly as shit. In the part... Well, there's a deleted scene where he stomps on the fucking... Girl that's underneath the fucking fence. It looks like all fucking... It's nasty. He kills his mother. Which was not actually shown in the fucking movie. But in the deleted scenes... He, uh, tries to go kill Cory. I mean, not Cory, Lori, but he fails to because Lori already knew. Somehow. She was gonna kill herself, but that was all fake and shit. Then Cory ends up stabbing herself in the fucking throat. Because of the fucking... Y you know. Then Allison thought C Lori did it, but she didn't. Then you get the whole part where Michael snaps Corey's neck. Then the whole fucking kitchen, not kitchen, the kitchen scene. Man, this was the most hyped scene of the entire fucking movie. And they just fucking ruined it. It's cool where they uh, mention, where it shows the fucking needle from the first movie. But Michael was about the fucking... Garbage disposal or fucking hand. And before he could even do that, Michael throws her across the fucking table. He digs the fucking thing into her ear. He should have gone deeper, man. And, um, after that, um, Lori ends up stabbing his fucking hand. Well, no, he actually, um, stomps on her fucking throat, causing her to fucking choke. Should have done it for longer. But he ends up getting kicked. Laura ends up stabbing his hand, which I don't think Michael would struggle that fucking hard. If if Michael was really Michael, he would instantly remove that fucking knife. But he couldn't. He gets a chair broken over him. They get stabbed in the fucking heart. He comes back up. Lori fucks him over, and Lori takes off his mask, slit his throat. Man, this movie is fucking bullshit. But before Michael could kill her, guess who comes in? Allison. To save the fucking day. Like, really, why? Let her die with her fucking monster, man. Well, actually, not, not her monster, but her killer. That would have been the perfect movie ending, but then you got the fucking part where you fucking grind Michael. It's just fucking bullshit. Oh, my God. And Michael's fucking old in this... He's so weak, man. Oh. But, uh, yeah. That's about it. See ya.